thing. This yeah, but you two are here. Uh, no, I'm saying that you that StreamYard may be incompatible with well, what what well, with his phone. Maybe his phone's yeah, but he was there. in here before on the same phone. Oh, oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Golf ball, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not necessarily sure, but uh, I'm not. I'm I'm guessing. I'm I'm, I'm taking guesses. I'm like, because I have yeah, no. I told, clue I told him just keep keep on, just keep trying to get in. If you could get yeah. in, it'd be dope. If not, then it, it kind of sucks. But if not, we, we'll just we'll just go. There's this goddamn thing going on. With the, I'm I just I just saw this. Um, kind of want to talk about this too, but I want to stick with the original topic first, and then we could probably go into that afterwards because it's super interesting. Um, uh, but. Mm -hmm. What's going on, people? It's your boy Sofus back here again with another Soul Cast. Soul Cast number 28. And once, once again, here with my co host, David Bennington. Mr. Bennington. And we're on number 28. And then, uh, obviously, we got one half of the Weed Smoker Fornicators over here, Young Prez, the ghost, the second greatest rapper alive. What's going on, Young Prez? Yo, Prez. <laughs> hey, can y'all see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what you were showing us. Okay. I was like, where do you go? Yeah. Can you hear us? Prez. I wonder if he could hear us. Can can we can, can he... what's up? Oh, can you hear us? I don't think he can hear us. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck is up? Hey, yo. Call, yo, Prez. Call him. Hey, yeah, you, um, might him. you might have to call him privately and see if he can hear us. Yeah, I don't know if he can hear us. Give me one second. Yeah. He was just he was just talking. He was just like what the hell happened? Hold on one second. Like, make make or make sure it's not your user error on his part. All right, hold up. All right. Yeah, yeah, what's can up? You hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can yeah, I can hear you. It's obviously a delay, but yeah. Oh, okay. From the phone to, to y'all talking to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we was talking and you wasn't saying anything. It was like, can you hear us? So was like, I don't know. We was crazy. Oh no, like it was all it was all being all glitchy and shit. Did y'all see my did y'all see my gerbil? Yeah, we saw I him. did. Well, I met him in person. Mm -hmm, but I, I, I did see your gerbil. So. All right, so hold on. We going there's two things I want to talk about today because I did the, the second one literally just came to me, but the first one we're gonna talk about the rock, man, because it's, it's, it's some rare. I never thought I'd see the day. I don't even know why this is happening, but people are like turning on the rock. Like <laughs> it's just um, and we'll, I'll I'll pull the video up, and we'll get into it, and we can, everybody can kind of share their opinions on it. This video on YouTube by uh, Sunny V Two. Shout out to Sunny V Two. Damn, damn it, four million subscribers. I don't even know who the hell this is. It's crazy how you can have that many subscribers and people still not ever fucking hear, hear you or know who you are. Isn't that this isn't it crazy how big the internet is? Yeah, it's just like you can have that many subscribers, and I don't, I, I literally do not know who you are. <laughs> but, um, I've never, I've never heard, heard of you, never, never, never heard of like, you. Like, like, Four million subscribers, championship 2015. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You ever run into somebody on YouTube, dude? Has like, oh man, you got eight million subscribers. Who are you? <laughs> what? Who? Yeah, no, you no, no. people no. like that. You would like have some type of knowledge of who they are, but not. No, just, no, no, crazy. no. What it is is that it, it gives you context as to what you are into versus what that person does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because people you're not, be like, because you're because like for example, there's a drag, there's a drag queen on YouTube that has eight million subscribers. No you, idea who that is. You will never know who that is. You not even drag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's crazy how big communities are. I guess, huh? Yeah, man. All right, well, let's check out the video. But, but, but also, that's a yeah, good thing. Okay that's cool. Yeah. Well, because that means everybody can really stick. Kind of everybody has. You, you can. Everybody really has their own community and their own interests, and everybody can kind of just enjoy what they enjoy. That's. I think that's a great thing. I think that's really a great thing. But okay, let's um. Let's get this video started, um, and then we'll kind of just pause accordingly, kind of just talk about what's happening. But like, it's just a super interesting topic because you know, I, fuck, I love the Rock, you know, but like, people are starting to hate him. So let's let's let's. I don't um, dislike the Rock, but I don't dislike the the title. 
Hi, this email is uh, that's my highest strange impression. The title of this video is uh, The Rock is losing thousands of fans per hour, but why? So let's go. The Rock just made WrestleMania's most disliked video ever, and through some terrible podcast appearances, a completely out of touch fundraiser, and his reputation as a walking talking advertisement, the world's fakest celebrity has, for the first time ever, seen a fall in Instagram followers. But the biggest contributor might be his endless list of lies on everything from his movie earnings to fast food consumption. For example, back in 2017, The Rock posted this photo to his Instagram claiming I've never been to in and out before, which didn't seem all that serious until roughly five years later, when in August 2022, he'd post the following video. This is the very first time that I have ever tried an in and out burger or in and out fries or anything from in and out for that matter. He therefore claimed for a second time it was my first ever time eating in and out, yet he might not have been guilty given he'd also said this. Now, I've picked up some in and out burger before for some buddies of mine. I've never tried it, so this is a first. That would be until December 2023 when The Rock claimed for a third time he'd had my first in and out burger experience, also pretending like he'd never even tried fast food before rolled up in my bro what is this nigga talking about bro hold up my first ever in and out burger experience for the for the third time just in and out burger wait, wait, wait. experience <laughs> also <laughs> pretending like he'd never rolled up in my pickup and tried to be cool as fuck with my order sunglass emoji but I, but I didn't know the lingo I didn't know who to pay I didn't know where to pay I didn't know shit bro it's a burger joint bro hold on time out <laughs> This is burger joint, nigga. Like, what, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> even tried fast food like, before. But I'm a quick study. Loved everyone's positive vibes and holy shit, it's the rock in it. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> like what, what, the, what the fuck is Dwayne talking about? <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Have you ever met somebody who lies for no reason? That's what this shit sound like. It's like, <laughs> nigga, what are you capping for? Like, no one cares enough for you to be out here capping like this. Like, bro, this is funny. Bro, I've never, I didn't know the lingo. What are you talking about? Can I get, can I get a number three with fucking buffalo sauce? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, what's being said? Like, what, what lingo? Are you, are you, didn't know who to pay or who didn't know where to pay. The, didn't know the, the fucking cashier. You didn't know to pay the cashier. What are we talking about? Right now, like, bro? I think that, I think that. That I didn't, but I didn't know the lingo. Didn't know who to pay, where to pay. Didn't know. That's weird. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Like what? I don't think that. I don't think that drive-throughs inherently have lingo that is outside of regular restaurants or eating establishments. That's weird. Now, in his defense, I can say like when you do go to In and Out, you could be like, "Yo, let me get an In and Out." You know, let me get a number two. Let me get a double double with a half onion. Animal style, like that's some shit you can say, and then niggas be like, "Oh, I got you, fam." You know what I'm saying? That's true shit. Like, I mean, I've been in it a couple times. Sure, like this nigga is sure. making it sound like he don't understand how to, how to buy a, a burger. Like, this this nigga is out here saying, "This nigga, like, like, no, he's actually talking as if this is the first time he's used human communication before." Rolled up in like, my pickup and tried to be cool as fuck with my order. What are you talking about, bro? He's like, Wait, hold on, let's, let, 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 let's, let's keep it running. I didn't know the lingo, didn't know who to pay, where to pay, didn't know shit, before adding some self-congratulatory comments about leaving a massive tip. This led to mainstream media articles and a 6 million view Penguin Zero video. This is the third time he's done it. He keeps pretending that he's trying in and out for the first time every couple of years. The other two videos are still on your- Shout out to Moist Critical, bro. Charlie's hilarious. But uh, yeah, this is funny. <laughs> for Instagram page. Like, this, Forcing no, The Rock no, to change bizarre. his description by- my first ever in and out burger. He edited it. <laughs> My first ever in and out burger experience again. What the fuck? <laughs> what? what are you talking about, bro? Just wait, wait, that first wait, wait. My first <laughs> ever in and out burger experience again. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, just, okay, if you're going to edit your post, if you're going to edit your post, that's fine. That's one thing. But just remove that first sentence. Just put, hey, I'm at. I, I went to In and Out Burger. Just do that. Like, what the fuck is? Okay, <laughs> no, actually, I no, I'm gonna try for put... the first time again, bro. Hell no. No, I, I'm gonna play devil's advocate real quick. 
I hate playing devil's advocate, but let's play devil's advocate. Let's play around with this a bit. What if <laughs> the first time the, the first time that he ever actually had in and out burger, it wasn't he didn't order it, it was taken to him. Okay. So this is be so this will be the first time he ever personally ordered in and out burger. Yeah, but his other post from like three years ago, he said he went there to pick up in and out for some homies Jesus or something. Christ. Like, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. Oh my God. But see, but see, now I'm not most of it in and out burger. See, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Thanks. What? Was, was that Young Press? No, I was about to Hit say, it. like, you know, he, he could have just been a mobile order. Like, he could have just been picking that shit that, up. That's what I'm saying. Says. Like, literally, he just. He just drove around. Yeah. It. I'm, I'm, yeah. You know me. You yeah. know, fuck, fuck, fuck what yeah. David Bennett is saying, nigga. I stay playing devil's advocate. I, I, I live <laughs> on the side of the devil's advocate. I always try because, because this is the thing, right? We're all adults, right? So to me, right. every, to me, everything I do or say has to make sense in some kind of capacity. So I right. have to believe in my heart right. and in my brain that everything a human being does. They do it with the intentions of making some kind of sense. So I have to try to dig into it and make it make sense, at least to to them. even if it's stupid logic. You know, well, well, here's here's his own um, like, he, like here's his full edit. The, his full no, edit. My, my full problem edit with that logic is that it allows people to say, "Well, of course I did because of this reason." No, some people are just what they are. Well, wait, hey, here's, are his, here's his um. Here's his full edit. He said, "Thanks to the fans for reminding me. I went into In and Out years ago, and totally forgot about it. I could, I could probably let. I mean, yeah, okay. If you could, I, I, I imagine the Rock's like super bro. busy. He does that's, a, he does a lot of shit. So, like, you know, like I don't fly to different. Possible, bro. Sure, sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't fly to different cities yeah, like, and different okay. countries every goddamn week like he does. So, I imagine he does so much shit. He probably totally forgot he did some shit. So, like, but still, it's just, yeah. it's just funny, bro. If you it's eat In and Out, if you eat now In In and Out one time." You know what I'm saying? And then you wait five years to eat it again. You'd be like, oh, that's the first time. Yeah, of course, like, and then it, 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 I'm not gonna even care with y'all. In and out ain't that great. It's not that great. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, take I, a, I, I take I, a water, I, I take a water burger, uh patty melt with the bacon on the Texas toast any day over that in and out BS. You know, I, I don't think I've ever had no wait, no. I know I had in and out once in it's my overrated. life when I was it's overrated when I went overrated. to go visit my grandma in Los Angeles, like like overrated. fucking like 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 15 years ago, but I don't remember anything about it, but never, yeah, ne it nevertheless. It's nevertheless. not bad, Let's... it's just overrated. Like, okay, the, like, in having lines like Chick-fil-A, it's not that good, bro. You're not, you're not Chick-fil-A line worthy. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is not even that good. Waiting. I'll be honest, I'll tell you right now, Chick-fil-A is not even that good. I mean, well, Chick-fil-A obviously tastes good, but hold on. Hold I think on, like, I think like the prices and the portion sizes do not, they, they, yeah. Yeah. but listen, yeah. but li this is the thing about Chick-fil-A, right? <laughs> The reason why I think Chick Fil A is great is because it's just chick. It's like it's, it's chicken sandwiches. That's the whole. It ain't no. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I feel you. I feel you. But hold on, hold on. Let's uh, let's um, let's keep oh, yeah, this bad. going. Let's let's see what other reasons people are getting upset at the Rock. Let's just I don't know. It's just funny. To the fans who reminded me that I went to in and out years ago and totally forgot about it, but there was another lie that did way more damage. Black Adam was released in December 2022, yet after its theater run ended, Insider published an article reading, Box Office Bust, Black Adam Faces Theatrical Losses. The article explained that the film needed to earn around 600 million worldwide to break even, yet box office experts believe Black Adam will stall out with less than 400 million globally. Now the movie stands to lose 50 million to 100 million in its theatrical run, although only three days later The Rock was saying the opposite. Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our film will profit between 52 and 72 million, fact. Also attaching a Deadline article which stated, There's some snarking going on out there that Black Adam is poised to lose 50m to 100m, and that is simply just not true. The movie is bound to break even and be in the Black. Well, it turns out this article was written with false information that The Rock had personally leaked to the journalist to make his film seem profitable. After 25 years, we finally found out what The Rock is cooking. The books. But the thing that's really oh. cooking his reputation... Ah, that's... I, I wonder why he would lie about that. Because even if your movie, compared to how some, some movies flop, 
Losing fifty to a hundred million isn't like super terrible. You could make that up with streaming and stuff like that. No, no, no. The reason, no, the reason why that's bad is because Black Adam was supposed to bring be the this new renaissance into the DCEU. Well, the Black Adam, the, the, the Black Adam had other problems besides the amount of money I made. Like, and 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 they're all the Rock's fault. But like, like the Rock didn't. He personally, I wonder if that's gonna be in this video. But I know a couple of things. Like, he personally. He, there wasn't supposed to be a fucking Black Adam movie. Black Adam was supposed to be the villain in Shazam too, and he was like, "No, nah, I don't want to be in a movie with another superhero," because The Rock right. has this, um, he has this clause that he refuses to do movies if he if he has to lose a fight in the movie. Yes, like it, 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 I don't know. Let, let's just it's a very rare thing. He like he literally has he, contractually he is not allowed to lose. Wait, when did he start doing that? Years no, ago, Wait, years ago, it's honestly, it's actually also a clause. But how about saying, I'm about to say, in, say in that movie, uh, what, what, what was that movie where he was, uh, with the guns and he's like, I don't like using guns because shit, bad shit happens when I use guns. He walking tall, you talking about walking tall, yeah, he got his, yeah, yeah, but the, the, the thing no. that was that was way in, um, you talking on, about walking that's tall, that's what yeah, that was like that was like one of the first movies he ever did. I'm not sure he didn't have that clause way back then. No, but hey, then, yo, yeah. you know, you know who else has that clause? Um Vin Diesel. Vin, Vin Diesel and um and Jason Statham. It's the mm -hmm. reason why in the Fast and Furious movie, like actually Jason Statham has a clause that says he cannot take more than five punches. <laughs> like literally, you can't take more than five punches. Well, let's let's just let's just keep going. <laughs> let's just keep going is perhaps the cooking itself as the rock's longest running and most off-putting lies are on the topic of diet and exercise for example the rock claimed to be eating a suspicious amount of food anywhere between six to well, I would say possible almost 8,000 calories a day. Which was quickly shut down by Greg Doucette. There is no way The Rock burns off enough calories to average six to 8,000 calories a day and look like this. If he actually ate those kind of calories, six to 8,000 a day, he would be 100 pounds overweight. Who went through The Rock's entire... Uh, yeah, 6,000 calories a day is wild. I don't, you know how much... Like, most people eat anywhere between like 1,000 and 2,000 calories a day, I think. Like, yeah. so... And that's what, like... Three mils. Yeah, that's what, you know what I mean. Like so, that's insane. I don't know how to. I don't know how the fuck you're eating six thousand. I don't even know how you can do that. I don't even like unless hey, unless, hey, no, no, unless no. some niggas be doing that shit. Like, but but, but the niggas be massive though. Like the massive. Like remember Kali Muscle. Remember Kali Muscle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But like that's what I'm saying. Unless you literally and I know that the Rock is huge because. That's all I'm gonna say. I I I, I could see how it could be possible, but I know the Rock doesn't do this because I know he's super busy and he's always moving and he's always doing stuff. So I don't see how he had the time and the day to do this unless you literally woke up, worked out, ate, worked out, ate, worked out, ate, worked out, ate all day long every day. That'll be the only way you could possibly do that. Like, uh, like, and even but, then, still a long shot. Yeah, but uh. I don't know. Six thousand calories a day. But. Tired daily diet before. I mean, it's I possible. Did. You know, pounds overweight. You went through the rocks in time. You know, some competitive diet eaters before. be eating that, that crazy shit, but I don't think the rock does that though. But I, I no, no, no. See, once again, no, 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 but he's yeah. arguing like the rock's physique would not allow him to, to eat, look like that. What yeah. I'm saying is, and, and this is the problem with That's arguing understandable. Understandable. devil's advocacy. It's what is possible versus what is plausible. What is what what is what is within the realm of possibility versus the realm of practicality? Yeah, there's possible there's there's, there's, 6, there's possibility it's possible. is possibility is like something you can apply to anything. It's quite literally anything. Probability? It, it like it, it is like in the argument, what I'm saying here is like like possibility means like yes, it is hundred percent possible right now an 18 wheeler can crash through my apartment and kill me. That is a hundred percent possible. Is it probable? No. Is it plausible? No. Like you know, is it practical? No. But it's it's definitely possible. So that's that's the only thing. Like with with possibilities, is like anything is possible. Literally, that's the point of possibility. Like, <laughs> like anything is possible. You know, <laughs> like but, uh, the the practicality of it all and the, and the probability of it, uh, uh, like. Uh, like 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 or like literally the definition of probability like it's possible i can take a quarter flip it and get heads a hundred times that's 100 percent possible but the probability is i'm going to get heads 50 percent of the time so 50. 
Yeah. He would be a hundred pounds overweight. Who went through the rock's entire daily diet before adding this. He described about 3,000 calories, maybe, but where do we get the six to eight total thousand calories? The Rock also uploaded a raw uncut leg workout, which he called intense and unlike anything I've ever done, which Greg went on to criticize. But look at the grimaces on his face. Notice how hard he seems to be pushing. This is two plates on each side. A man of the rock stature, size, and strength. I would believe that this would be a cakewalk. Many bikini competitors could lift this much weight. And I'm not trying to strength shame him here, but I believe that you're lying when you say that this kicked your ass. There is no way that this was difficult for you. Highlighting The Rock's most notable lie of all. There's it, not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in hell. As big <laughs> as The Rock is at 50. On the topic of steroids, Johnson has said he hasn't touched them since he was 18 when he tried them before college. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in, although it's strange to see him only getting bigger despite now being into his 50s. Eddie Damn. I forgot how small the rock used oh, to be. Oh, it's strange to see him only getting. I forgot how small rock used to be. Yeah, you don't get. I mean, that's not that's not my bad. That's not small. That's a that's a buff nigga in that thirty five yeah. year old picture. That's not small. That's not what I meant to say. But like in comparison to what he looks like right now, yeah. That's you have to be doing something else. You're doing something else. Yeah. I think I that picture what... where it says when he's thirty five. This picture right here. It's like what would happen with if most people if they eat right and work out. That's like a yeah. natural physique. Yeah. Or no, no, like 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 what would you do if you ate right and exercised on a soldier's diet, like on a soldier's like workout regimen? That's it. Right. That's maximum soldier workout regimen. That right there. Yeah. What right. the fuck? Did, what the fuck is this? Nobody in the military looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, bro. Nobody. Nobody in the military looks like this. There. Nobody does. That's just, I'm telling you right now, there are no people in the military that looks like this. Like, it's impractical for you function. Yeah, it's actually, it actually is impractical for you, but uh, and, uh, more ways than one. More ways than one. Like, uh, yeah, but anyway, let's. Uh, Prez just left. Like, Prez just left. You don't see him? He'll come back. He'll come back. He's okay. going to come back. He probably, he probably glitched out or something. Okay. All right. Cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. We, got, we got some comments. Hot take. Had in and out once, and that shit is overhyped. I, yeah, I bet it is. I, Cause I had it once. I don't really even remember it. So, yeah. Um, I had Roscoe's chicken waffles once, and that was when I was in California. That was a long time ago, though. <laughs> yeah, same here. That's when I had. That was I, when I had in and out when I was a kid. That was before um in and out was anywhere besides um California. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's, I think in and out's in Texas now. Um, yes, but, it is. Uh, Austin, Austin, uh, Texas. Uh, I think it's gay when actors put that crap in their contracts about never losing a fight or taking scripted hits. So yeah, because it's like a fucking it's a movie, bro. <laughs> like it's like not, not only that, bro. No, you know what? You know what this is like. Wait, this wait, is wait, like, if, like. I got I got kicked out from the crap. No, oh. no, no, we're just we're, we're just reading comments. But we're I was reading, saying, we're just reading comments. No, no, but oh, holy I'm shit, hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out. Yo, boom, Coro. Yo, hey, shout out to my homie Coro. Hey, Coro, if you wanna. Hop in this. Let me know, bro, and I'll send you the link. I'd love to have you in here in the conversation. But Kuro was saying, so the Rock just be lying? Like, yeah, apparently, yeah. bro, the Rock just be just be lying. But um, capping like a capping like a motherfucker. But but here's the catch: when it comes, I want I want to go back to the not, whole fight. So we're not gonna no. sit here. We're not gonna sit here and act like my back. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh no, 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 that's cool. But what I was saying about like the the whole thing with with we, some ahead, of these actors have have things in their contract when they're like, I can't lose fights. That's like, that's how can I? That's like if like The Rock was like, in like the next John Wick, and he comes up to Keanu Reeves, was like, Hey man, big fan of your movies. Glad to be part of this. I know I'm the villain of the movie, but you can't beat me at the end of the movie. I have to like survive or get away or something. And I was like, What? What are you talking about, bro? I'm like. What? It's just like no. well, no, actually, you know who has a contract? Oh, okay, what well, you know who? That, no, actually, uh, I was gonna say be, this. That, like, don't Cruz, play a movie where you're gonna fucking lose. Like that doesn't make any. He, he doesn't. doesn't. Make any sense. No, that's the don't, thing. He, don't he doesn't. Put me in the John, yeah, don't put me in the John Wick movie. Don't any role like any role. Oh, I gotta lose. Fuck. You. Matter of fact, you know I'll do you one better. Wait, two things. Two things. Thing one. People are up up in arms about the Rock line, right? But 
We gonna sit here and act like this nigga's whole career isn't built off lies. This nigga started off as a fucking wrestler, bro. It's all a gimmick. Like the whole idea is that we're trying to we're trying to deceive you. We're trying to make this look real. It's all staged. It's all a ploy. We know the outcome. This is this is a superhero ballet that we're doing. So that like, yeah, no, but like, like but the, but but the, the, the difference oh, with that being it, it, the the difference with that being is it's like I mean like. Wrestlers aren't lying. They're they're entertaining. Nobody sits there and watches wrestling and be like, yeah, man, he really did just throw Stone Cold Steve Austin off the bridge. It's like, you know, nobody, nobody, <laughs> unless they, unless they're like challenged mentally in some kind of way, then maybe they do. But like, everybody knows it's, it's a work. Everybody, that's a, that's, you just, it's like, it's suspending your disbelief. I'm not watching the Avengers thinking, God damn, man, fucking Iron Man is real. It's like, no, I, I know it's not. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, but, why? Hey, but come on, why, bro, you gotta like, admit, bro. The dick toss—that's a—that's a scary move. Yeah, but that, but that's Over. exactly my point, though. Hey, no, nobody, nobody, hey, nobody like, watches. That, nobody hey, watches wrestling. Accurate as fuck, bro. No, no, but that's that's my point, though. Nobody watches wrestling and thinks it's like a real fight. <laughs> nobody <laughs> does. It's like, it's like nobody. Does. So you it's mean just, to tell me you just, see somebody get dick tossed and you think that's fake? You think that's fake? The dick toss. You think that's fake? Wait, what, what argument are you making? Because now you're making the exact opposite argument you just made like two minutes ago. No, I'm I'm being facetious right now. I'm, I'm being. Oh, facetious. okay. Good. I'm not, like, stuff like that confuses me. I'm like, <laughs> like no, it's, but yeah, it's, you know. it's just uh, yeah, it's just like. Oh, you okay? Yeah, hey, uh, bet, Carl. Yeah, when you when you whenever you get to where you're getting, you, let me know, and then I'll, I'll shoot you the link. But well, yeah, no, well, it's just like well, it's think, like. Okay. I, and I don't think people necessarily care about, like you said, like we yeah, have people watch wrestling and stuff. You you know they're lying. Of course, it's not that. I think it's just what people is like. I when when if I go, let's say, let's keep it to wrestling. If I go watch a live wrestling show and I and I and and I see like, well, I'm trying to name I'm naming wrestlers I, I remember and shit. But like, you know, if I watch like John Cena, Randy Orton, that's cool. But I'm not gonna be like, and at the show and they fight, I'm like, dope, John Cena versus Randy Orton. But then if I go out in public and I see the two of them like sitting down in IHOP eating something, I'm not about to get mad at them. Like, why are you two eating? Why are you not supposed to be talking to each other? Y'all supposed to hate each other? I'm like, How nah, bro. Fuck could you two be fucking friends in IHOP right now? Yeah, it's just like, so it's not, it's, not a, it's not about whether or not you're lying. It's just like the reality is, is like I would be upset that if like if I met say like John Cena and it's not like at a convention where he's supposed to show up in character and he's just like in Walmart I'm like some yeah bro word life bro what's going on like, bro what, what are you doing bro be authentic like you don't have to do this right now well, you know? I was, well I was saying about the whole fight situation when it comes to the uh the choreographed fights if they had contracts that are similar to um to uh what would you say Tom Cruise in the Mission Impossible movies, where he can get beat up to hell, he just has to make it through the mission. That's something different. And, and those are, those make overall better characters because indestructible characters get boring real fast unless they you have another avenue to their character that you can latch on to, like with Superman or something like that, right? So like like say take John Wick for example or Tom Cruise or whatever. They, if John Wick with the whole movie never got touched, never got hit, never got choked, never got shot, and he's just running through everybody nonstop, unstoppable, that shit would get real boring real fast. But the fact that John can be put in situations where he's like, oh, damn, they might get him. And then he still walks out of it is what makes his character good, because he can be hurt. He can be stopped. Which is the reason why a lot of female action movies suck, because the girls are fucking indestructible, and they run through everybody. Like, 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 like nothing can fucking stop them. Like, really? Really? You, you're 120 pounds soaking wet, and you just beat up 18 fucking dudes who are like 6 foot 4, 250 pounds, and they, they couldn't even, they couldn't do nothing to you? You knocking them out with one? It, it, it gets ridiculous after a while, right? So well, when you have, like, say, but who, like, you want to know who's but who are but who are writing these female characters? Men. Women. No. Men. Mm -mm. So you're saying that they're so they're so you're saying that all these female characters have been written by all women. Yeah. All the bad ones. Look, and I'll give you a perfect example. Watch how Jack watch how Zack Snyder writes Wonder Woman, and then go watch the Wonder Woman movies and look how they write Wonder Woman with Zack Snyder's not writing her and see the stark difference. Mm. And that's that's the only example I need to give. Look how the Russo brothers write like um Black Widow and the Captain America Civil and uh, Civil War, um Infinity War, uh, Winter Soldier. Look how the Russo brothers write Black Widow, and then look how Black Widow was written in the Black Widow movie. 
No, do it. I, I, I challenge you to look how look what female characters when men write them. Look at female characters when women write them. Go watch. Go watch. A, um, wh whoever fuck her name was is new Charlie's Angels movie that came out a couple of years ago. <laughs> There's <laughs> the new Banks. Charlie's Angels movie. Not bad. Not the not not a new one, but a couple of years ago, Elizabeth Banks did a Charlie's Angels re um re um reboot. Have you seen that? <laughs> There's a new Charlie's Angels movie? No, no, I'm saying I'm saying a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. I said Elizabeth I, Banks, Charlie's Angels movie from a couple of years ago. Okay, so it's not a like a new one because okay. it was the last one made. I don't mean like brand new. I mean it was the last one made. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. I'll, I'll I'll have to check it out because I didn't even know that happened. I yeah, no, Elizabeth movie. Elizabeth Banks made a Charlie's Angels movie. The worst fucking movie I've ever seen in my life. And you know why? Oh. <laughs> no. You know, for a lot of reasons, for a lot of reasons, but her main reason was like she was like, Yeah, I mean, like nah. she she literally said, I'm not putting no action scenes in my action movie. She literally said that. She what? was like, she was like, That's what men do. That's so that's the way men would think. We're, women, we wouldn't handle situations like this. It'll be I, I swear to God, bro, I can't make this shit. The movie's terrible. But never nevertheless, but yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Your argument that like dudes, um look, look at Go watch Wonder Woman versus Ares in the Wonder Woman movie, and then watch Wonder Woman versus like Doomsday or Steppenwolf when Zack Snyder writes her character and see the stark difference in in how these action movies are writing these female characters. That's that's literally the only I can say to that. But uh, what's going on, Kazo? Oh, was good, bro. What I miss? Ain't she ain't nothing much. We just talking about uh, you missed a couple of little. We just talking about the Rock right now. Anything you want to say so far? Because you already know about uh. A lot of this stuff. Uh, about I mean, the rock's diet. He's talking about his uh his in and out eating habits. Um, uh, all these things. Yeah, I mean, only. I mean, I told you this a long time ago. The only gripe I have about the rock is the nigga can't lose in a fight. <laughs> that is just, if it's my movie and he the villain, you mean to tell me I can't beat him? <laughs> it's like he's like now you can you can you can save the day, but he has to like get away, and it has to be an evenly matched fight. And if if he can't win, and if he he well, then you, you know can't win either. It's like you know you can't no, neither you can win. It has to it has to end well, in the cell. They, they should put him, Vin Diesel, and Jason Statham, just them three. That <laughs> way, and y'all fight to the death. Ain't nobody gonna die. All right, my bad. Them fucking jerks was. Was bro, a lot, fucking bro. hilarious. Let's, let's do it. The Rock Wait, has in his so, contract that he can't lose a fight. That's crazy. That's crazy. But here's the crazy thing. Well, here's what I don't get about stuff like this, right? Um, the Rock's physique right here in this picture of him at 35. Picture for a 35 year old man is fantastic. That's a that's an that's an that's an incredibly healthy 35 year old man. Like, yeah, I, don't even, I, don't, I don't even see a problem with looking this way because that's he's not small. He's small. <laughs> Look at what the size it, of his arms. Steroid allegations. Look at the size of his triceps, and then and and like look at his chest. How profound it is! It's like, yo, why do yo, you yo, even want to? Why do you even want to be bigger than this? I don't even get yo, it. Like, he he would he would get a three hundred on all of his PT scores. Yeah, he would get three hundred. Well, actually, it's a, it'll be six hundred now. But yeah, six hundred. Oh, really? Yeah, they they it's because they got the ACFT. Now. I, I don't even want to talk about the military right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. My fault. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. But uh, I don't know. Like, why would you even want to be bigger than this? I don't. I don't, I don't get it. But, I, 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 it's an obsession, probably. That's what I. I say. I think it's an obsession. Let's Hold run on. it back a little. Let's run it back a little bit, though, since Cuzzle joined, so he can get some context. In chance in hell, he's clean. No. Not the most notable lie of all. There's <laughs> not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in hell. As big as the rock is. At 50. On the topic of steroids, Johnson has said he hasn't touched them since he was 18 when he tried them before college. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in, although it's strange to see him only getting bigger despite now being into his 50s. Eddie Hall gave his voice on what Dwayne might be using. I would believe that The Rock would be on TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy. A very good thing to do. It's actually very good for you, very healthy for you. Well, so for those who don't know, TRT is not steroids. Uh, TR TRT is not steroids. Um, it's 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 literally like as you get older, as men, as we get older, the older we get, the less testosterone we produce. 
which means the harder it is to lose weight, the harder it is to build muscle, the, the less energy we have, the more tired we'll be as we get older. What a lot of people are doing nowadays, this has been revolutionized, and like I would say the last decade or so, is that they're just getting straight up, like injected with testosterone. So when they're like in their 40s and 50s, they still have the level, they'll have the same level of testosterone they had when they were like 20. That's not a steroid. It's literally just testosterone that a lot of people are doing. Joe Rogan does it. Um, a lot of uh, uh, Rolo Tomasi does it. A lot of people are doing it nowadays. Now, I always say thing about it. When I get to the point, when I get older, so I might fucking do it too because it's like, why wouldn't you want to be like 40 and 50 and still be able to go and work out and, and go for long runs and, and fucking lift heavy weights and just not not be bending over tired. Also, the more testosterone you have, the faster your body heals from damage and a whole bunch of other things. But if the rock, even if the rock is using TRT, he's still kind of huge. Cause look at Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan uses TRT, and he's, I think he's older than the rock, or at least the same age. And he's not that damn big. He's in the same age bracket. Yeah, they're in the same age bracket, and Joe Rogan's not that damn big. And he he does TRT. But he, Joe Rogan is also not Joe, Joe Rogan's also is not in the in the limelight the way that the the rock is. Like Joe Rogan's physique isn't a isn't a selling point to his character anymore. Joe Rogan's a fucking fighter. This thing is like a black belt in several martial arts or whatever. So like, yeah, yeah, Joe Rogan like a is a martial thing. artist. Like, the Rock yeah. is being yeah, but I'm saying like the Rock, the, like the Rock is more active. Like the Rock is out here physically working, still doing movies, still doing shows, still doing appearances. So they both could be taking the same thing, and he's just put the Rock is just putting in a different effort. Also, you have to think about a person's uh, like physiology. Like some people can get. An eight pack, while most people can only get a six pack. Some people can only get well, a four to, pack. to your to your point, the Rocky is Samoan, and they got some weird fucking genes, bro. There's Nick, just there's, two, there's two races. Of, there's two races of people on this planet I really don't want no fucking beef with, and that's Samoans and and descendants of the Vikings, because something in their DNA just doesn't make no fucking sense. It, like it doesn't add up, bro. Like nah. something in their DNA is wild, bro. Nah, yeah, nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Samo- bro, they all all Samoans are big and strong and can sing for whatever reason. Yeah, same they thing with like got, the, um, they all got muscles and vocals. And same thing with like the Scandinavians, like the the, the, the Viking descendants, the motherfuckers are huge, bro. And I do not understand why. Like I'm just like, I don't know. Something in their DNA, bro. They're 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 weird, bro. Their genetics is freaky, dude. Like they're just like I don't want no beef with them, I'm gonna be honest with you. But um but yeah, TRT is TRT is not steroids. TRT is is not steroids. A Rogan theorized who was probably using more. You can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. Which was again echoed by Greg Doucet. Oh, but that's like TRT. HRT is what I mean. But yeah, hormone replacement therapy. Just adding, which I see a, people, a lot. Some people have negative thoughts about people doing that, but I don't see a problem with just, if you know your <laughs> testosterone is going to go down as you get older and you, and you just don't want it to, I don't really see a problem with that. I mean, if, I don't know if anybody has a different opinion on that. Mm, nah. I mean, if I really wanted to, I would. This is just me speaking. If I wanted to, I guess, replace my my hormones. My, my thing is, it ain't, it ain't even if is. The Rock is, even if The Rock is taking steroids, who gives a fuck, really? This nigga's not competing. He's not in any fucking sport where the like him taking steroids is fucking illegal. Your whole your whole right. livelihood is based off of your fucking physique. Like, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, no, so... Not, like, if nobody's going to sit here and say that The Rock to... is the best actor they've ever fucking seen. No, I don't think that's people's beef. Like, if you want to just sit at home and be by yourself and do steroids because you want to be jacked, nobody would really give a shit. But if The Rock promotes, like, um, fitness and working out, and, and The Rock says does he, promote he doesn't... Lifestyle? He promotes a healthy lifestyle, and he says that he doesn't yeah, do it. So it's just the, authentic, it's the authenticity of you saying it. So if it, if it turns out that you you do do it and you're telling people, hey, yeah, yeah. you're telling people, hey, eat 6,000 calories a day and work out like this and do this and you'll look like me and you're leaving out the fact that you are taking steroids, if he is, allegedly, then, then motherfucker, like you're you're just being like, that's dishonest. not genuine. Yeah, you're dishonest. dishonest? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, Mr. Benton, did you have anything to say about um HRT? Well, I was sorry about that. Well, I was I was I was actually about to talk about other. Uh, I was supposed to say something other than that a, a minute ago, but um. Well, the question I was uh, asking, like, because I was saying, like, if you know as you get older, your testosterone is going to go down, and you just want to do HRT to keep injected testosterone in your body so you can have high testosterone levels, I don't necessarily see that as a negative thing. Some people have opinions on it. I just want to know your opinion on it. Uh, as long as it's healthy for you and you're not 
over dude it's testosterone it. your body produces it there's, there's nothing wrong with it it's like this okay all right yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not i'm not yeah. i'm not disputing anything i'm you i'm just saying as long as it's done healthy done in a healthy yeah. clear clean way hey, we we have the benefit of being graced by the glorious y chromosome that, that makes us a superior <laughs> the superior yeah. gender Boy, you better not let no feminist say that shit. <laughs> it's true <laughs> we got testosterone like you know he's so it's just <laughs> i just i just want to get a reaction i'm just looking at mr bennett's face right now i'm like i'm over here like yeah, that's we that's weird like well I, I i i don't go out my way trying to determine what gender is superior to another i've never been that guy yeah because we already um, did it it's like we already know I mean, there's no point in doing it. We already know. The fuck? Yeah, I'm just talking simply about like physicality. I'm not talking about nothing else. I'm not saying anybody's better than anybody or anything like that. But if I want, if I want some furniture well, moved, I don't want to walk. Talking apart. about like you're talking about yeah, like well, I'm Chris definitely, and, uh, I'm name? definitely stronger than most most bitches. You know, uh, for sure, for sure. I, I, I yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not talking about nothing else. I'm just talking about like if I if I wanted some <laughs> furniture moved, if I if I if I hired a moving company to to move all the furniture in my house, and like three bitches show up, I'm I'm about to throw a fit. Unless they like, yo, why the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like who the fuck are you? Oh, why we we work for the movie company. Like, why like no, you don't. Here? Why are you here? Why did they send you here? I'll be mad as fuck. I want a discounted rate if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all I'm saying. If I, if I you know, if I, if I you look, know, dude, I, saw, I saw this one video, bro. I'll never forget this. I gotta find this. I saw this one video. When these two female cops was like trying to arrest this dude, and he was he was slapping them around and throwing them around, they couldn't get this dude. And then this one bypassing civilian ran up and tackled this dude and held him down, so the female cops could put handcuffs on him. And I'm like, why do you have a job? Because you literally couldn't do your job. A civilian literally had to come to your job for you. <laughs> well, why are you hey, doing Cuzzle. this? Why are you doing What's up, Cuzzle? this? Cuzzle. Why are you doing so this? So right now there is a there is a um, a female box uh named Clarissa Shields who wants to fight a former like he's been teasing his man for a few years now. She wants to fight a male former box or whatever, and she believes why that she that should beat him because she says she's bigger why than she, him. why she don't who, who huh? cares? Why does she want to do that to herself? Nobody cares how big she is. I like, just, what you, she genuinely think like, she would. She she says he doesn't have the skill. You don't as a she don't get it. Like she needs to be humble. Now I'm not. You know she got her, her boxing thing or whatever. But dude, why you know what's crazy? Think they could be the man. I, I, I watch a lot of I watch a lot of um martial arts videos and sparring videos and stuff like that. And then like something something I've seen several times is when they'll have like in terms of skill. I'm not counting her. I'm not knocking her skill. Her skill could be incredible. But I've seen. Like Niggas female, black, I've seen, like like when it comes to like say like jujitsu or something like that. I've seen female black belts like roll with dudes who've been doing jujitsu for like a month, and they mm -hmm. just can't they can't get a hold on them. They can't do anything on them because the dude's just too fucking strong. So the skill means nothing at that point. I don't care how strong you. Do you yeah. uh, apparently I mean, no. I mean, it's I mean, kind of like this. Do you think our Do you think your parents have much harder time? Like like I don't know how many of you guys grew up getting your ass whooped by your parents. But your parents had a much harder time whooping your ass the moment you turned 10 years old. Oh, yeah. yeah then you start running from them and shit. You know, oh, it's hard. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> Catching the belt, all that shit. No, no, no you know what? Or, Speaking of which, no, my no, mom, I remember, my mom I remember when I was, like, I was like 15, bro. I was like 15. And my mom, she was in a fucking mood. I don't know what the fuck was going on with her that day, but she was in the mood. Now, literally, she just started getting on my ass. For nothing, right? I'm in the kitchen. I'm drinking something. She like, get get the hell out of here. Go in your room, right? So I'm I'm like halfway done with this drink, right? I'm not about to bring this whole cup in my room. So I just finish the drink. I put the cup in the sink, right? She like, didn't I say get your ass in the room? And she came, bro. She ran up on me and she swung. And instinctively, I just I just I just weaved. I just ducked. I, just, I ducked her and moved back. And her ass. Oh, motherfucker, oh, you want to fight me now? Like, no, I don't want to fight you. But you're not about to just think you about to beat my ass. You're not, you're not about to just run up on me 
and beat my ass for drinking in the kitchen. Like, I'm not about to just sit here. And I was no. like 15. I was yo, like yo, yo, 15 no. years old. I wasn't even like, I, I wasn't even in my grown man body yet. I was like a high school type shit. Like, ladies, stop. Yo, no, Brez, Brez, like, I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better. I was about to get my ass whooped when I was 10 years old. I did something crazy when I was 10 years old, I, like something in school. And I grabbed, and what I did was I bear hugged my mom and I didn't let go and she couldn't break out of the bear. <laughs> How could she? How could she? No, hold on. I'm going to tell you something. Wait, what the fuck just happened? She's like, what are you doing? And then and it was just like, y'all remember hold on, hold on. Y'all remember when hold on, the I'm about to show you, but hold on, guys. Soccer hey, guys. players went guys. undefeated and then they played a team of 50 yo, 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 Her ass, boy. Nope. Got you. There you go. There you go. Now, now here's a catch. You could charge a lot of that not only to him being stronger, but also him being smaller. A lot of that shit, a lot of what she's doing, she needs Mr. to do that for a, a no 10 year old boy is knocking you. It's not, it's not happening to you, bro. Come on. <laughs> Who, me? Are you talking yeah. about me personally? Yeah. It's, it's not oh, happening. no. That little nigga getting thrown around. Yeah. That's not happening to you, bro. Unless I unless I'm like faking it, like oh he took me down. But if I'm being for real, then they get tossed in the fucking air. <laughs> that little nigga getting thrown across the room. That shouldn't even be a workout for you, <laughs> but it is. So that's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like, we gotta be we gotta be realistic here. Like listen, nobody in today's day and age, everybody loves the women's and nobody wants to make them feel bad. But the truth is the truth, bro. Like you know, it, but it but uh, no no no. But here's the thing. Let me be clear. With the truth being the truth, I've seen men try to use that truth to like harm other women. Who's talking about doing that? Huh? Who in here is talking about doing that? Not not all. Here. I, all all I said is that we're graced to we're blessed to be graced with the glorious Y chromosome. Glorious Y chromosome, nigga. It gives you testosterone. You should be grateful for that's it. True. I am. That's true. I I I kill myself if I was a woman. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, I, I concur. You know, I concur. I concur. Could, you imagine, could you imagine not I being able to? For this reason right here. Would you? Would you? I couldn't be a woman. I could not be a woman. Could you imagine waking up tomorrow on, and Brent. knowing you're like Brent. only a quarter oh, of how strong you are right now? I couldn't do it. Like seriously, could you imagine waking up tomorrow? You can't even lift like fifty pounds. Okay, no, I've seen women lift fifty pounds, but yeah, I get what you're saying. I get your point. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Not only do I not think he's natural, I don't think he's on HRT. I think he's on the the kitchen sink, whatever he can take. Really, I think he's on all of it and then some. You don't get big like that in your fifties compared to your forties and thirties. But you see some photos of him in his thirties; he's way bigger and leaner now. This has helped him to earn the following title: The Rock is the fakest celebrity in Hollywood. And nothing solidified this harder than The Rock's recent Joe Rogan episode. I was very hyped for this podcast, but it was honestly quite boring. Rock unironically has some serious politician traits with how he takes the middle road and nods his way through anything potentially controversial Joe would say. As mentioned, The Rock tiptoed through the entire episode. You tell The Rock just did not want to give his opinion on anything and he's walking on eggshells. You know, he's definitely worried about saying anything controversial or getting canceled. Additionally, The Rock avoided controversy by controlling every topic, leading to other comments such as, Rock has asked Joe about a hundred questions so far, and I don't think Joe has asked Rock a single one. Joe is doing all the talking about the same old shit and I'm about to fall asleep. The whole episode just felt kind of weird, not only because of Joe previously calling The Rock a steroid user, but because The Rock had also called Joe Rogan out himself. I thought The Rock disowned Joe during the whole N-word incident. Back in 2022, 
when Joe posted this iconic video. The Rock stood firmly behind him by writing, Great stuff here, brother. Perfectly articulated. Looking forward to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila with you, although his support was met with backlash. Dear The Rock, you're a hero to many people, and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that used and laughed about using the N-word dozens of times, is a terrible use of your power. Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people? Joe Rogan is not a racist, bro. Joe Rogan is not a racist, bro. Like, Joe Rogan wow. has, has the same standpoint Wait, as Joe Patrice O'Neill. No, 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 no. Let me address this. Joe Rogan has the same standpoint like Patrice O'Neill, Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle, like uh, any stand-up comedian would say, like, bro, like, if you're just saying some shit just to be fucking funny, it, it really doesn't fucking matter. That, have, that Letting somebody, letting the joke somebody tell on stage or whatever, it has nothing to do with the content of that person's character and who they are, how they treat people, how they behave, which is why comedians who are black do not care that Louis C.K. would get on stage and say, that nigger cooked the shit out of my coffee. You know, like, like he just, like, they, they <laughs> that nigger made the like, shit out of my coffee. Yeah, because they know, they know it's just a stupid, th and then to try to attribute that to, like, well, he has to be racist. Like, it's just, that's just that fucking far left, no fucking <laughs> liberal, <laughs> pussy fight, everything offends me bullshit. And to be quite frankly, uh, I, it, it, there's only one well, word. Not to mention the rock. There's only what I'm gonna say. There's only one word to describe what that is, and that word is cap. That word is cap. That shit's cap. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking. But but also, never, it's not like it's not like the think. rock is. It's not like the rock. It's not like the rock is 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 white, and he's like and he's like, oh, I'm advocating for Jeff Ro Je uh, Joe Rogan to say the N word. The Rock is black, bro. Like this, this, this yeah. guy's a whole black guy. He's a, he's Samoan and black. Uh, black folks give give out the pass all the time. So like, and, and I also hate when white people somebody stuff like this because my, my whole thing does I, that make them does it inherently make them a racist? Another like, thing I hate, I hate, like I hate when white people do this. Gay. I hate I hate when white people say, "Well, he said the n word." Think about how black people feel. Do not proceed to assume. That you get to tell me how I feel about that word. I don't give a fuck about it. It means nothing to me. <laughs> I don't care. So don't don't proceed to assume that that your that your pasty caucus mountain looking ass has the right to tell me I have to be offended by the word, someone saying the word nigga or whatever. Who the fuck? Don't tell me what I have to be offended by. It's just it's just crazy to me. White people are good at that too. I, I have no problem with white people, but white people are really good at being offended for other people. It's, it's so fucking, fucking annoying. It's the weirdest shit ever. It's so it's fucking weird. annoying, bro. Why the fuck are you a fit? Like y'all, y'all remember when when the Ghost in the Shell movie came out and Scarlett Johansson yeah. played the main character who was supposed to be depicted as a Japanese, and everybody was like, "How dare all these white people? Like, how dare they cast Scarlett Johansson as the role of a Japanese woman?" And literally, they went out taking polls, and all the Japanese people, all the Asian people, were like, "Bro, Scarlett Johansson's fucking gorgeous. We we love the fact that she." That she got to reprise a role of somebody, you know what I'm saying? Play the role of somebody. And like, another uh, thing is, our, you know, someone. No, no, here's the crazy thing: someone went on the streets of Japan. I remember this when that movie came out, and they talked to Japanese people about it. And uh, damn, everyone was like, "Yeah, no, that's that's actually good because like a lot of anime characters, while they might be Japanese, they're designed to look like Western Westerners because Japanese people love Western features. And so, like, if you look at a lot of anime, the way how how big their eyes are and a whole bunch of other things, they're designed to look like they're Westerners. So they were saying, like, they would rather have somebody that looks like the fucking character as opposed to just getting an Asian woman for the sake of her being Asian. They 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 took no problem with it whatsoever. Yeah, it's fucking white people. Well, Same thing from like if you look at like the anime characters. Yeah, no, but like if you look at like a lot of anime characters, so like from the way their eyes is to how their hair is to like their their breast and hip size and stuff like that, that's not how Japanese women look. That's not like you know, but they well, does not. Can I, you know? can, well, can I play? Well, I don't even know if you I'm know, playing. Devil you know what? Navigation, in, in, but, in all of okay. the, all of the. No, no, go. No, no, go for it, Mister. Oh no, I was just saying, no. like, of all of the shows I've seen. Oh my bad, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was I have gonna a delay. say. Don't forget that I have a delay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what's going on. All right, my fault, my fault, my fault. That's that's my fault. Um, I as much as I as, and I hear what what both of you guys are saying. I instinctively, I will have chosen. I now I get what people are saying that uh, dude, uh, Japanese culture really does love 
Western uh, Western culture and therefore got different eyes, uh, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, one, two, three. I get that. I just saying that personally, me, I personally would have instinctively went for a, a Asian woman simply because I, I grew up watching anime and I was like, oh, all the characters have Japanese names. All the characters have Asian names. I'm gonna go. So I would, I would instinctively just go unless I'm rebooting the, unless I'm rebooting the character to fit a Western audience. I would just go with it with an Asian woman. Just yeah, but like, like oh. uh, but like I said, with that, people just gotta understand the context and stuff like that. Because like I said, like yeah, they all have Asian names, but none of the motherfuckers look Asian. You know what I mean? Let's just keep it a buck. None of the motherfuckers look Asian. And then even like, like on top, of, like, even I, I, on top of that, with this is not to be a. Not bad. Well, yeah, no, my bad. No, I'm gonna let you go, young press. Give me one second, and then um, and then even like on top of that, like among among other things, it, it's just people. They just people tend to just try to get like super offended over weird shit when they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Like when the Iron Fist show came out, people were upset that Danny Rand was a white man, and that immediately let white. me know. That they never read an Iron Fist comic in their life because Danny Rand is 100% a white man in the comics. Like, that's what he is. He is a white man who got stranded in Tibet and, or in Kung Lao. I mean, I don't know why I said Tibet and then trained with the monks there. But his character was never meant to be an Asian person. But the fact that his name is Iron Fist and he has chi and stuff, people me- immediately assume, and that shows the racism in them. That he had to be Asian. I was like, no, he's yeah, not fucking that, Asian. That's actually that's actually shows you how just how racist you are. If yeah. you, by telling this story, you assume he must be Asian. Yeah, but young press, young press, what were you about to say? Mm. Damn, he got a massive delay. Yeah, he has so a super often delay. In this Japanese culture shit, since I was like eleven, right? Yeah, I've seen hundreds upon hundreds of anime, and in all of anime, I've only seen one person who even remotely resembles an Asian person, and that's Brock <laughs> from Pokemon. And that's not to be <laughs> offensive. It's just like everybody else in the show that looks like somebody Brock that you Pokemon. see here in the mayor. Like they all look like white people except for Brock. He's the only one with like you know yeah. Asian features. But he's the only mm-hmm. one. I ain't seen nobody. I ain't seen nobody else. It's fucking weird. Yeah, no, bro, no, 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 dead bro, ass. Also, if you, if you, you know, trying to tell also, me that, okay. if you trying to tell me that, like fucking like Kazuma Kuwabar from Yu Yu Show is a Japanese man, I'm gonna tell you go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Let me. Well, also, no, but let me be clear. Fuck when you. they do animate, when they do animate somebody who is who is from the West, they make it very clear that that person is also from the West. Yeah, I know. I, I would get what you're saying. Clear. Yeah. So 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 they are acknowledging that the title character with the Japanese last name is Japanese. Yeah. No, we're not saying we're not. I'm saying I'm just saying like a lot of mangaka and people in general, uh, uh, they admire the um the like I would say like Western features, and so they they <laughs> deliberately make their characters look like they're Westerners. I'm not saying they're they're trying to say the characters aren't Japanese or they are Japanese characters, but like having someone. Western play a Japanese character when the Japanese character was made to look Western to me is not a big deal, not a problem. It's like it's just it's it's something stupid to be offended over for no reason. Like that's that's all I'm saying because yeah, like that, yeah, that's that what the sense. mangaka who created the character yeah, wants. Be upset about the character looking like what the fucking character looks like. <laughs> just, like it's just, that's what they want. That's what they want to have happen. It's, 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 but, it's, um, fucking, it's uh, fucking dumb. You know. But okay. Anyway, uh, let's uh let's uh let's keep it going. Sir. Causing the rock to fold instantly. Dear Don Winslow, thank you so much for this. I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his n-word use prior to my comments, but now I've become educated to his complete narrative. Learning moment for me, showing he'd K from the smallest bit of criticism. The rock was the most sanitized, neutered, safe person I've ever heard audio of. Not one real opinion. He was like the breathing version of ChatGPT in 10 years. The rock might be physically strong 
strong, but clearly has no public backbone, and nothing showed this more comically than his recent Maui controversy. After the island was burnt by fires, The Rock and Oprah launched the People's Fund of Maui, contributing $5 million each before asking the public to donate. So we appreciate any support that you can give. What do I do? What do I do? This is oh, what you do. The People's Fund of Maui. The comments have since been turned off completely, yet they once echoed the sentiment, math ain't mathing with this one. You guys literally have so much money. You can donate it and make it back within a year. Now, The Rock didn't need to respond. His $5 million donation was already extremely generous. Yeah, hold on. Before we go further, didn't they, he said they gave $5 million a piece. What, you want him to get more? Like, Well, like, no. What they're saying, no. What they're saying is... The hey, money yo, that you could have used. Hold on, real quick. I want to. I want. want to try something real quick. I'm. A, I'm gonna come right back. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna try to use a different web browser because this shit is choppy as fuck. Give me. Give me back. Yeah, no Listen, problem. What are you saying, Mr. Benenton? Well, I think what they're saying, and I, and 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 once again, I'm giving. I I'm trying to be as a as. I I'm, I'm trying to see their point. I really am. With that being said, I think what they're trying to say is, Oprah is a billionaire. Rock is a hundred millionaire, right? Okay. You gotta, he's a he should be a billionaire. I think he's a billionaire too. But no, go but we'll keep oh, going. But, but I guess the point is, if at this at this stage of the game, y'all could just donate that money. Why why are you asking at random regular people who who don't have your funds to donate the money that they may need to to fix a problem that that only y'all that only y'all care about. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, I guess I get what you're saying, and yeah, they probably, they probably could have gave more, but Zanya didn't give anything, so I guess that's where I'm kind of lost. But even to that point, I, 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 my, my favorite quote is from the rapper Royce the Five Nine, and 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 quite frankly, Royce said, and one of his, and one of his bars was, long story short, I don't make money just to give it to y'all. That's just a fact. Like so, like. Right. The fact that I gave anything, I gave as much as I want to. I want to give ten dollars, and that's no, that's what I gave. And for you to say, well, you have so much money, why don't you? I mean, like, well, because I, I I gave what I wanted to give. It was just that, and I'm just asking if you want to help. Then I'm not. Then you give money if you want to. Sure. Nobody's demanding that you do it. So like, don't come at me for how much money I got. It's not. It's not my fault. You're broke. You know. I mean, literally, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like, I'm just. They just saying <laughs> if if you want to help, then here's how you give money to this fund. Don't come at me. He was like, I don't want to help because you have even more money. So keep giving your money. No, I gave what I wanted to give. Okay. I don't care how much money I got. I don't care. I, I, I don't care if I could give away half my fortune and make it back in six months. I don't care. I'm, I gave what I gave. It's just, uh, it's ridiculous to try to tell me I should give more because I can. Oh, what if I want to fill my, my swimming pool up with money and swim in it? That's, I have every right to do that. It's my money. You know, so just, that's, that's my opinion on that. I think people are delusional or, or not maybe not delusional, but something's wrong with them when they think celebrities, just because they have a lot of money, have to give it away. No, they don't. It's their money. Yeah. But but and, but also I think the I think what it is is that it, I think it's the asking of other people to get to get involved. Maybe that's I and once again, I don't know because I don't well, yeah, but but once again, it's, it wasn't a demand. It, Oprah literally yeah. said, if you if you want to help, then give to the people fund for Maui. If you want to help. Yeah. It wasn't like you, a demand, and they're not begging you for money. They're just saying, hey, if you want to, if you want to, then go, go ahead and do this. Now we haven't seen they said the rock's about to respond to this. I don't know what he said in response, but that's just my response. Bro, I gave you my, you know. I gave what I wanted to give. If I, if I want to give more, I will. But right. you know, if I gave away five million dollars, bro, don't come at me talking about something. I'm not giving away enough money. That's all. No, no, that's nonsense. No, that's utter yeah. nonsense. Yeah, that's uh, that's utterly nonsensical. I would never say no shit like that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just guessing what what the actual opinion is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, big fact. I, I I really don't know enough. I don't and know, like, Cousin, How how you feel about that, Cousin? I uh, honestly, like you said, it's their money. They're not demanding, like, hey, you got to give this much amount. They just said, if you want to help, you can help. It's the same thing, like, with with uh, with churches. If you want to tithe, they ain't forcing you to tithe. You can give as much as you yeah, want. Yeah, imagine you go to church and, and pastor's like, ain't nobody leaving here, so everybody gives up their tithe. I was like, bro, bro, you don't get on my, you don't get on my face, bro. <laughs> it's just... 
Oh no! At that point, we boxing. Because that's how nigga hostage. <laughs> at that point, Can you we imagine boxing. that, bro? Locking all. Doors. Yeah, locking the doors. Got like, armed guards up in there. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, could you imagine locking the doors? Got armed guards. That, Ain't nobody leaving till we hit our goal. What? Oh, 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 nigga, we boxing till we reach two million. <laughs> <laughs> like this is a, this is a hostage negotiation. <laughs> I just signed up for this. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like <laughs> that goes never against what a preacher is. Yeah, that'd be like, insane. No, it's just it's a it's a it's a if you want to, right? Did I hear that right? Maybe I misunderstood Oprah, but I could have sworn she said, like, hey, if you want to help, here's how you do it. Let, hold on, let's play it again. Fund of Maui contributing five million dollars each before asking the public to donate. So we appreciate any support that you can give. What do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. The people's fund of Maui. Right. So people are asking, hey Oprah, how can I help? Okay, hey, here's how you help. Oh well. Yeah. And then they got mad that she told them. Oh, hello? To oh, bet, bet. Yeah, no, ain't no problem, man. So that's, that's yeah, awesome. I got you, bro. The, I'll, 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 I'll add you back when I see you join. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was weird to me. How could you get mad at that? I don't even, like, I, I want to know what The Rock says in response, because clearly that, that ticks people off. But, like, yeah, like, if you're asking me, oh, hey, Oprah Rock, how can I help? Here, wait a minute. Why don't you just give more money? Wait, hold on, bitch. Well, you just asked me how you can help. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's, it's like it's weird. Yeah, I don't know. He said, "Hold on, bitch." You just asked. Him. You asked me how you could help. What the fuck? Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird as fuck to me. But let's see. Let's go. Let's keep going. The comments have since been turned off completely, yet they once echoed the sentiment, math ain't mathing with this one. You guys literally have so much money. You can donate it and make it back within a year. Now, The Rock didn't need to respond. His $5 million donation was already extremely generous, yet once again, he couldn't handle the backlash and uploaded a video claiming he Oh, hold on, Rock, with your goddamn long ass hair. Yet once again, he couldn't handle the backlash. Damn, that's a long okay. ass hair. No, please, the Rock has an update on the People's Fund of Mali. The Rock's so grateful to move all the messages the Rock's received out of Mali from the millions. Is he talking? Like and he millions of the survivors of the devastating wildfires who are now getting their personal. <laughs> no, let me stop playing. Funds from the Why are you talking like that? I was like, <laughs> is the Rock talking like that? And they ain't not a Rock talking. <laughs> and the millions. <laughs> and and the millions. <laughs> Their personal funds on the people fund in Maui. The strength of our of of the strength of our people of Maui is beautiful and inspiring. Watch your families, communities come together after this tragedy is inspirational. You just said they're inspiring twice, and I'm proud of our Polynesian people. Thank you to everyone who was helped by sending resources. Loves and prayers to all the people affected by the fires, and loving mahalo and respect to our OG culture leaders, our local community or organizations, and all of our first responders and every person who came to probably say to like to assist or whatever. If you're smart! Okay, no. What the rock? He didn't say that. <laughs> He and uploaded a video claiming he'd done the wrong thing. When we first launched the fund, there was some backlash. And I want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now. And here's what I have to say about that. I get it, and I completely understand. And I could have been better. And next time, I will be better. The Rock doesn't even feel like a real person anymore. He okay, wait. I, 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 I don't think that was like a terrible thing to say. I mean, I like, wouldn't have said it. So I would have told you go... I would have told you go eat a dick. That's what I would have said. But like, uh, I don't gave, wait, cousin, 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 cousin. But I also understand so that gave... it's like, that's like a very sanitized response, right? It's like, I don't know. What did you to say, cousin? Hey, cousin. Wait, why would you say go eat a dick? I'm so confused. So because they're gave... saying that, like the person said, "Well, you got so much money, Rock. Why are you asking other people to donate money?" And like, I'm so go eat a dick, bro. I gave five million dollars. That's true. What are you, what are you saying, cousin? Oh no! You pretty much uh, said what I was gonna say. I was like, he gave five five mil, and people was like, that's not enough. Mm. Yeah, I told him go eat a dick. Mm. I told him suck the fattest dick you could find. I uh, that's what I would have told him. Well, and, and you know what's crazy? I would have been like, if you feel like I'm not giving enough, how about you find your favorite celebrity and ask them to give something? 
Right. Right. In facts. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, like, you know who should be affected by, you know who should have been the first people knocking at my door? All these gospel singers. Where's Yolanda Adams? <laughs> Where's BBC Wines? Where's Kirk Franklin? Right. They rich too. And they hold well, like, aren't they God's people? They ain't God's people? Is that what God told y'all to do? Well, um, I don't know. That's, that's, that's so. The Rock doesn't feel like a real person anymore. Or he, it, yeah, I mean, I do get that impression, though. I don't know. A lot of the stuff he be saying. Even better. And next time I will be better. The Rock doesn't even feel like a real person anymore. He's basically just a walking business, with the whole walking billboard mentality becoming increasingly obvious to everyone. He only has one mode and that's sales mode. For example, he simply had to celebrate his sold out wrestling match with a massive swig of tequila. And what about the drink of choice for his first time trying in and out Well, again, two straight shots of his own brand of alcohol. Not exactly believable. But what about this wholesome video where he pulls up to a tour bus? Wait. You guessed it. Yo, pouring tequila while you're eating some in and out burger is kind of crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, what the fuck, nigga, you did? There's, that's no... But I mean, way, like, I mean, I drink so and I like to drink. So never mind. Let me take that back. I don't know if Rock just really likes to drink, and because I do, I like to drink. So like, I'll I'll eat and then have a drink afterwards. But it just seems kind of weird. It's a it, it, no, it's weird. No, because he's not but, having. But, no, they tequila. just said it. He's having his own tequila. Like, yeah, that's what makes it weird. You just... what's up, cousin? I was saying is, is they say he's in sales mode. Like at, in, at the end of the day, he is a businessman, so he's gonna promote his own shit. True. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 and I've had the rocks to kill. That shit tastes so, like straight hand if I, if I was him, I was like, if I if that was me, and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna promote my own stuff. Why you're mad at me? Because I want to make money. I don't care how much money I got now. I want to keep making more money, and I'm gonna promote yeah. my stuff. <laughs> People gonna buy it, so why not? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. No facts, facts, facts. I will say though, Rock, yo, yo, that's a killer, bro. That's a killer's garbage, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I've had that shit. It, it's like it's like straight hand sanitizer, bro. It, it doesn't oh. go down smooth at all. That shit is like straight hand sanitizer. Bro. I don't, I don't like. I don't know, bro. Oh. That, shit. that shit is so Ew. potent. Rock's killer is so goddamn potent, bro. There's nothing enjoyable about it, bro. Like. I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I don't want to have a shot of something and feel like my lungs are on fire for like fifty seconds. You know what I mean? Like, that's, like yo, hey, yo, we have to get over this idea that alcohol is supposed to hurt. <laughs> oh, that's no, it's not. That's largely the reason that turned me off of alcohol to begin with. It's like, is it supposed to hurt this way? I don't like it. No, nah, no, nah, that's a fact. That's why I love Jack Daniels. Smooth, smooth drink. Smooth. I don't I don't drink Jack Daniels to go like ah ah you know it just you just go it's smooth it's a smooth drink. If I am if I feel like I'm dying at the end while while drinking this shit, I, I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, we get yeah, I, I agree with Spinnington, bro. Like you know, you know who um you know who has a good drink though? Um Ooh. I've had it once and I want to order like a case of it, like a big ass case. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin's Broken Skull IPA, his own personal beer. That shit yeah. is smooth. and like and, see, and like um, uh, Austin said, you know he 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 worked with beer scientists. Like you know he he was he's like he was working on he has like three different flavors now, but he's like he works with people all over the world. He's like he I want he's like, I want beer that go down smooth and don't leave a foul taste in your mouth that'll still get you fucked up because that's how I like to drink and and like his beer is his beer is quality. It's it's actually good. Rock shit just tastes like the just the most potent hand sanitizer to kill I've ever had in my life. I don't and, and I don't know if that's how the rock likes to drink his shit, but I don't like my shit like that at all. I'm like, I don't hey, know. if your shit feels like if I feel like I'm dying at the end, this is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. I don't know who out here telling niggas that this shit is cool. Cur Curl said it's not weird, it's a flex. It is a flex. It is a flex. Yo, know, Curl, when you hopping in here, man. When are you hopping in here? Let's, let's let's keep it going though. He's probably but, uh, busy, dude. Yeah, I know, I know. I ain't I ain't trying to rush him. But tequila with like I don't know. I say that as I sit here sipping on a mango margarita. So I, I guess I don't I'm not one to talk, but I don't know. It just 
No, dude. Say Straight it, tequila don't... too? You ain't you ain't even you ain't even mixing it with nothing. I, I don't know. That doesn't seem very enjoyable because I've had that tequila. So I just know that's not enjoyable. Like <laughs> believable. Enjoyable. But what about this wholesome video where he pulls up to a tour bus? You guessed it, it's actually an ad. We're building our second distillery, <laughs> and we are the uh, largest employer of everybody in Jesus Maria. I love Jesus Maria. Thank you, brother. Did you try the tequila? By scrolling to any part of his <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so this if you was the person he asked that to, cousin, what would you say? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about, bro? I just, if I allege, if you just, if I, if this is my first time just randomly, you know, no, if, if I just randomly saw the rock like in public, I'm like, oh my God, hey, dude, fuck, it's the fucking rock. Hey, how's it going, man? This and that, shake his hand and stuff. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm so, I uh, appreciate your support. Hey, have you tried my tequila? I was like, wait, what? Yo. <laughs> I no, he, I get what people are saying now. He does sound like a walking billboard. <laughs> he just, like, like it just sounds crazy. Why are you talking about your tequila right now, bro? <laughs> like, I don't know. That's funny. That was funny. He, he made sure to ask. He made sure to ask. He's like, you trying my tequila? <laughs> Distillery, <laughs> and we are the uh, largest employer of everybody in Jesus Maria. I love Jesus Maria. Thank you, brother. Did you try the tequila? By scrolling to any part of his Instagram, you can see that around 75% of his posts are sponsored, and the nickname Dwayne the Ad Johnson is therefore perfectly fitting. They call this nigga the Ad, bro. Oh my God. Dwayne the Ad Johnson? Ha! <laughs> they call this nigga the Ad, bro. No. No, come on, people. Come on. Let that man make his money, bro. <laughs> we are we're just saying that this is most inauthentic. It is literally the most inauthentic way to make money. Let that man make his money, bro. <laughs> they call this nigga the ad. The oh, the ad Johnson. That's hilarious. Bro, that the ad. Oh my god, bro. That's that's, funny. that's wild. That's funny. that's wild. That's funny. That is the wild. One, the ad Johnson. That's hilarious. And the ad says the ad's gonna do whatever the ad's gotta do to make sure he promotes his newest tequila. <laughs> and ads, that's funny. <laughs> can you can can you see what the ad is selling? Can you see what the ad <laughs> is <Really>? selling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can you this combined with everything else has severely wounded his image however his recent actions with the wwe have dealt the final blow on yeah. the 23rd of january 2024 the rock became a wwe board member and a voice for what takes place in the show the rock ensured the audience at my core i'm a builder who builds for and serves the people although so far he hasn't served anyone beside himself how much, you ask? Well, you'll need a bit of backstory. Roman Reigns was WWE champion for roughly three whole years, although it was hinted that the widely adored Cody Rhodes would be next to take the title. The two had a long-running feud, so their matchup seemed perfect, and Cody had just won the Royal Rumble, the winner of which normally goes on to face the champ. Well, after all the hype had built, Cody Rhodes unexpectedly told Roman he didn't want to face him, randomly subbing himself out for The Rock, who had no place in the story. Suspiciously, this was only 10 days after Dwayne became a board member, with many believing The Rock had simply written himself into their feud. The highlight- That is exactly what The Rock did. Wait, what? Is, so here's what happened. Cody, Cody last year, not this year's WrestleMania, but last year's WrestleMania. Well, this starts in the last year Royal Rumble. Cody won a Royal Rumble. He went to WrestleMania. He fought Roman. Roman cheated, and he lost. Cody wins the Royal Rumble again to go to WrestleMania and gets the rematch against Roman at WrestleMania. Like, a week or two before WrestleMania, Cody was like, oh, um, uh, I guess I don't want to fight you anymore. I, I'd rather have uh, The Rock fight you. Because uh, I, I, he, 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 I forgot, I forgot the promo, but the, his reasoning was so fucking flawed. And then um, the Rock comes out. Rock's like, I'm gonna challenge Roman now, and this and that. And then, and then people lost it. On they lost it. They lost it. They lost it. So WWE had to do an audible change up the storyline. Instead of having Rock fight Roman, they had to have Cody come back and say, No, never mind. I'm gonna fight Roman. I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna be a champ. And then the Rock had to turn into a bad guy and then join Roman, even though he was literally just about to fight him. And it was it was it was super weird. It was super weird. 
it, like it was it was like it was it was it was super weird, bro. But um yeah, the rock, the rock artificially inserted himself into the main event of WrestleMania and people lost their damn mind. Because and like and my cousin knows I was one of them because motherfucker finished the story. He's just like finished, and like finished all let me let me find a let me see if I can find this um uh uh, let me see if I can find this. <laughs> let me see if I can find this thing. This is super fucking funny. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, I really, I really want to try to find this, this fucking little, this little funny little video. Oh. Yeah, okay. What was it? Ace of Steel? Is that the channel name? Fuck. Uh, finish the uh, story. Ace of Steel. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, check this shit out. <laughs> like, because <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Um. Okay, we got make... <clears throat> just the screen. Yeah, let's 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 stop that for a second, and let's present this. This is hey. just a little side tangent, yo, cause I don't know if you ever seen this video before, but this shit is hilarious, bro. And yo, thank God. Hey, yo, so, yo, so do you uh, smell? What, what's up? Yo, do you smell what the rock is bullshitting? Really? What, what, yeah, what it, was, it, was, it was complete bullshit. Yo, mm -hmm. yo, hold on, cousin. Hey, have you seen this video before, cousin? Nah. Oh, check, check this out. This shit is hilarious. Hey, I'm here to finish my story. Uh, yeah, sure, Cody. Uh, it, give me a minute to check. Uh, Cody, it seems that, um, that someone already claimed your story. Um, what? let me check it out again. Is that supposed to be trip? Yeah. No! I'm sorry. No! Don't you? Don't tell me that you're not. Let me look. 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 Let <laughs> Bro, no! No! <laughs> no! Bro, it's just like a hilarious. Bro. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> he just oh, that was funny as fuck. Right? That's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> I, I, I can see. You know, it's crazy. I can see that happening. <laughs> Nigga, just like, hey, dude, can I finish my story? Yeah. No, nah, you can't finish your story, bro. <laughs> can't, can't finish it, bro. So, so the rock just showed up. He just took it, bro. <laughs> Somebody already Oh, no, God. No, nah, but, but it's my story. Therefore, gained over 700,000 dislikes, being given the title of the most hated WWE move ever, since the highlight is now the WWE's most disliked video. The backlash was so severe that the story was totally changed, with Cody successfully beating Roman in April, after which The Rock announced he was leaving. The story led some fans to state, I swear I haven't watched this much wrestling in years, although The Rock's personal following hasn't been so healthy. Only 12 months ago, The Rock was gaining 5 million followers per month, although through everything discussed in this video, The Rock is now losing fans for the very first time ever. Wow. So, I don't know. That, that was an interesting watch. What do you, what do you guys think about going on Rock? Weird. Like, it's just it's just a it's just I think okay. bizarre yeah. considering the fact that the rock I what I don't know what the rock's angle is and it feels like neither does he. <laughs> um tequila in and out burgers uh, 6000 like, calories a day. No, uh, it feel, no it feels like he wants to be have you ever met somebody who's really not relatable but they're trying to be relatable? 
You mean like a hello, fellow kids type of person? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I, I have. I have. Like someone who you know, tried, I, I, I went, I went to basic with people like that. I was like, bro, you're trying so hard to be everybody's friend, and it's like it's super fucking annoying. Like, like just be yourself, man. Like just yeah, yeah. I, I've met people like that. Well, but, but here's the thing: maybe they don't want to be themselves because themselves suck. <laughs> like we never factored that in. It's like, no, nah, dude, just be yourself. Nigga, being himself is the reason why he's not liked. Facts. Yeah, like being himself might be the problem. He needs to be somebody else. Like, like if being yourself, no, right. like, like imagine being yourself means that you gotta slap a woman every day. Then be somebody else. Be somebody. I mean, it depends. I just I don't sound too bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, I just wanted to see what. <laughs> just, just, just wanted to see. <laughs> I just wanted to see. I'm, I'll, I'll come relax. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm married for the love of God. Like, <laughs> I'm married. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> we, we ain't over there. We ain't over there. <laughs> uh. Do you want me to? You want me to go grab her and ask her? <laughs> <laughs> would, that, would that put an ease? Would that ease your mind? <laughs> We're fucking with you. We're like, nah, bro. What the fuck? He's like, wait, what? What's like? 